what is going on everybody this is kinetic energy and i have the finals for you guys for the esfl grand prix and i'm taking on the one and only dmar 15. for those of you guys who don't know dmar he has been around the scene for a long time um very good friend of mine camp member we've played together many many matches over the past few years and we're gonna have a fight here so actually going into this fight um most of you guys won't know is that neither of us played much of the game going into this. Um, I was down in California doing handling some stuff down there and DMART was kind of just taking a break from the game. Neither of us really like the state of the game right now. I'll get into that later um, in a different video, but we're going to have a fight here and I got Connor versus Frankie Edgar and something about this matchup, you know, Danny did everything he really could that was in his power this matchup is not favored whatsoever for the frankie Edgar player and more importantly it's not favored the game doesn't favor grapplers right now whatsoever you know ufc2 kind of did favor grapplers everybody pretty much needed to know how to do the clinch how to do the ground game but the striking in this game far outweighs the grappling and while that i believe that is kind of a good thing it is too much right now and you guys will see that in this fight you know how the stats work how the damage works it's just it, it almost doesn't really feel fair um in a sense uh going back and watching this fight you know i was talking with danny and we both kind of agreed that he might have had a better chance if we just picked connor and we just slugged it out because with frank you know i'm not worried too much about being in the pocket i'm not worried about his power if we go one to one or if he goes two to one in terms of strikes landed on me i'm probably going to come out ahead because of how powerful connor is um so with that being said, just keep in mind, we both have a lot of fights between each other. He has a lot of wins on me. I have a lot of wins on him. And we're going to have a fight here. So one thing that's important to this fight was just that I wanted to just get damage off and to trade damage. That's the most important thing. When you have a powerful fighter like Connor and you're against someone like Frankie, it's very, very important to understand how to trade damage effectively. Now, with that, you don't want to just, you know, get hit i'm not trying to say to get hit but it's okay to get hit as long as you're doing damage back because you are going to come out ahead because you have the stronger fighter um we do get into some grappling exchanges in this fight i will go over that to the best of my abilities everything kind of does happen very fast so take what i say you know try to understand it but I'm, but also know that i'm going to go over it in more videos to come. so we're going to get this first round started i believe you're going to see me start trolling a little bit with some spins just some uh spinning back kick fakes just having some fun and we're gonna get this going so i'm gonna start off the round i'm just gonna try to touch him try to get some damage off try to start strong get a nice straight there body jab just kind of throw things out there get him thinking about a few different things i like that jab lead hook one of my favorite combos just kind of safe safe to strike combo but uh gets damage off and gets people to stop swaying left and right um, here you know i get a nice sway there Try the jab, body straight, get a nice lean hook there. Try the uppercut just to feel him out. Start working the leg kicks a little bit. He gets a leg kick back. I wasn't really too concerned. You guys see in my last few fights, I do leg kick a good amount in those fights. But styles make fights, man. I didn't really think leg kicks were going to come into play here. And also, leg kicks open you up to getting taken down. And I did not want to get taken down here. Um, I will get taken down eventually in this round. You guys will see it coming up. Um, there's the uppercut. I hit him with that uppercut hook as he was ducking down. I tried to get a block break in, but not good enough. He shoots a takedown. That was the first takedown. Stuffed that pretty easily. I'm not sure. I think that was just kind of more of a panic takedown or just try to create some distance. Pretty sure, you know, Danny's a smart enough player. He knows he probably wasn't going to get that. Um, so, working distance here. Get the one-two. He gets a nice sway off right there and counters him beautifully. I get the one-two. Nice uppercut right there. I lean back that uppercut. And, you know, this fight, I really just wanted to get damage off as I stuff another takedown there. I wanted to push him to, to make him react to me and to get enough damage off where he, he wasn't feeling safe. And you guys can see, that, you know, I got the damage already, got a nice slip hook there. And the stamina lead, he shot those two takedowns. People talk about takedowns not taking enough stamina and I, I disagree with that after the patches you know look at his stamina i haven't done shit for body strikes i've slipped a few strikes there's the first takedown this beautiful takedown so from here i'm going to start working fakes i try that down transition doesn't work on ps4 unfortunately 
works on Xbox. The perfect swooped me there, so I didn't get the reversal. He's going to posture up here, and he's actually going to go up as I do a transition, which causes him to go feed on hips. And I got a pretty fast transition to do the get up right there. Um, something I'll have to look at later on. So we're back on our feet here, just throwing out some strikes. He's trying to get some body work in. He's just got to watch his stamina a little bit. I do have a decent stamina advantage from those stuffed takedowns and a few slip strikes. It, it is weird watching this back, and I was wondering how this stamina advantage really happened. I'm still kind of fuzzy on it. It must have been those takedowns and a few of the strikes slipped. I'm not quite sure. I get a really nice combo off there. I broke it in half. I like to do that, and I hit him a few times there. Some good landed strikes. Here, so we're closing out the round. I definitely felt like I won this round. You know, he did get a takedown, but nothing much happened there. Definitely did more damage, so that was the end of that round. So going into the next round, I just wanted to kind of keep doing what I was doing. Um, just hit him, wear him down. Frankie Edgar, you know, he's a beast on this game. Not as good as Connor, unfortunately, but he is a beast, so I did have to be careful. We're going to touch him up here. I think I do another spin right there, just having fun. So that's what it's all about, guys. He tries a double leg there, doesn't get it. Um, I do try to grapple here with him, just to try to show him that he can't just, you know, shoot random takedowns and get away with it and just have me stand up. I'm going to try to fake a back flatten down, I guess is what you would say, and I don't get it. Here he's working the full guard fakes. I punch. We get back to guard. I do a fake and posture back up. And he blocks a strike there. I try to get to half guard, and I do end up getting to half guard. And right there, I tried to go to mount really quick, but he went for a transition and uh, overrided my transition, so he got the reversal there. I do block one of his transitions there, so I get the uh, GA, and then I go for the get up sweep right there. He thought I was faking it, and I set him up earlier with that. He thought I was faking it, and it's all it's all just a mind game, man. Danny's Danny's so good on the ground here, and we're both. We both kind of uh, laid out the meta in terms of like everything that we're doing here as I'm getting some ground and pound off. We we really, me, Zach, and DMart, we really just kind of, everything people are doing on the ground is something that we did first. I really, really believe that. Pretty much every trick and every mechanic on the ground is something that we invented pretty much. So we know he got a really nice reversal right there. That was sloppy of me, but that was a beautiful reversal. Um, so as I was saying, we kind of know everything that's going on here. We know what we're trying to do. As he's working the fakes here, I get... No, I don't get a transition there, right there. He does go for that mount reversal, and he perfect swooped it. That was a pretty bad time to go for a transition there. But he did went, did go for it, and I did get the get up because I did block it. And you get a bunch of GA and stamina disadvantage if you do try to perfect swoop as a punishment. Um, so we're back on our feet here. I uh, didn't really take much damage on the ground. I think I got a good amount of damage off in uh, in half guard stack. He goes for another takedown. Tried to get me against the cage. I was ready for it. I mean, at this point, I know I have him on the feet. Like, there, there's really not much he can do here with Frankie Edgar. I have an advantage in the stamina. I definitely have an advantage on uh, in terms of damage. So I hit him with a nice slip strike there. I baited him in for that and then caught him coming in. I like that a lot. You guys can go back and watch how I set that up. Very, very useful way to set up the uh, slip strikes. I do not try to slip strike to just flip coins. A lot of people are doing these slip strikes to try to, you know, flip coins. They go left, they go right, they go down, uppercut, hook, yada, yada, yada. Really, really annoying and a very skillless play of, uh, of playing the game, really. Um, so this round, almost over. I'm getting some nice dodges out there. I try a head kick. That was, I think, the only head kick I threw in the fight. I love throwing head kicks, but, you know, it's just so, so costly. He tried to spin on me there. Um, I actually didn't know that Frankie Edgar, Edgar had a spin kick. Um, if he wouldn't have fainted that, I might have gotten hit by it. Or if he would have saved it for a later round, I probably would have gotten hit, gotten hit by it. Um, but when I did see that, I was like, oh, shit, I guess Frankie Edgar has a spin kick. So it was just something that I had to watch out for going forward in this fight. And I do believe he does try it again. And I evade it or block it. I'm not sure. Um, so we're going into the third round here. I definitely have an advantage. I'm just trying to remain patient. I'm trying to apply pressure. Still, I get a nice body kick off there and slip the follow-up straight from him. Get a nice uppercut, two hooks right there. He did block the hooks, but not the uppercut. Um, you know, I, I, at this point, I, I pretty much know I do have the fight in the bag. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I don't get, you know, too excited. I just uh, 
Just keep applying pressure. I get a nice double jab straight right there. I really like that double jab. You can hit people when they try to slip with that double jab and just knock them out of the slip. It catches a lot of people by surprise. He get did get a takedown there. He tries to pass. Not going to get that. I did block it, and I'm working the fakes here. I block that, and then I get the flip. Um, so just some very high-level ground stuff right here. I will go over all that in a different video. Unfortunately, I just do not have time to do it in this video because got to keep up with the fight. So here I'm in half guard. I try to pass over to side control. I don't get it. He's working some fates. I'm working some fakes. He does get me back in full guard. And right here, you know, I'm thinking like, what's the point? I did pass over there again. I try to get mount, but really I know and he knows that I'm not going to accomplish much from here. It's We're really not going to really do much. Um, we're going to just transition back and forth. We're both so good. And that's one thing with the ground game is when you have really good players in UFC 3 on the ground, not much is going to get accomplished as long as their stats are somewhat equal. You know, Connor is not bad on the ground. I mean, he's bad, but he's not absolutely terrible. Um, and I do just end up getting back up because there's really just no point. Um, unlike UFC 2, there's really not a way to get a bunch of damage off on people on the ground. And that's what you need. You need to get damage off. Uh, half guard stat or half guard posture, excuse me, is really the only way to get damage off on a good player. Mount is pretty much useless. That was a nice combo right there. I think it was just a jab straight hook. I'm not sure if he was trying to go for a spin or go for a takedown. Because I just kind of caught him and he wasn't moving very much. I'm not sure. I get some nice jabs in there. Another jab, body straight. Work that uh, jab lead hook that I talked about earlier. Just trying to hit him. I'm walking him down. I pretty much know that this fight is over for the most part. I just got to be careful and just keep wearing him down. Um, all credit you know, to Danny. He is trying. He's trying to hit me. I get a nice rock there. I believe I break his block right there. Hit him with a straight at the very end. And he's doing the smart thing. He's staying down because there's he's against the cage. You don't want to get back up like that. If I'm standing up above you and you're against the cage. Uh, so he does get he does force me to, um, to get him back up. I had to back up. So I'm working the jabs here. He's blocking well. He's trying his best, you know, to get some combos off, get some damage off. He does hit me with a hook there. I believe he hits me with he tries the head kick right there. I get a nice few strikes off to punish that. And I'm wearing down. I kicked his leg a few times. I actually think one of those was supposed to be an uppercut. Stuff that takedown. And right here I'm just gonna pretty much ride out the round, just hit his body a few times, deny those transitions. He was going for those transitions just to stop me from hitting him in the body, really. He could have gone up. Uh, and I was just trying to, you know, that's kind of a UFC 2 thing. It was, uh, for people that didn't play UFC 2, it was a big problem of holding people in sprawl and just getting those body shots off. But with the changes, it's not that big of a deal. Both of us were just kind of fine with ending the round there. So we get this round four started. We're in the championship rounds here. Work the body jab, hit him with a nice time. That was a nice jab, uh, jab hook on my part. The timing there hit him kind of in a frame trap right there. Um, but he couldn't do anything. He hits me with a nice head kick when I was coming in there. But you know, at, at this point, as long as I don't sway right into a head kick, I'm pretty much okay. There's the spin. He does try that spin that we talked about earlier again. And right here, you know, I'm backing him up. He goes goes for a takedown, but I backed up in time. wasn't wasn't worried about it much. You know, he, he at this point he knows he's down rounds and he has to go for it here. And I just pick him apart right here with a bunch of just weirdly timed strikes, single strikes, double strikes, and I got a nice knockdown. Um, so I, I'm just continuing to apply enough pressure. I get a nice sway hook right there and then a straight, I believe that was a jab to finish off the fight. It was just a running jab that I actually did kind of on accident. I was trying to throw strikes, but I got the running animation and it does have pretty good tracking and I ended the fight on that. So that was the end of that fight. It was a great fight. Uh, I got the ESFL world title from that fight. I hope to be defending it soon. Be sure to check out ESFL gaming on Twitch. Check out their Twitter. Check out DMAR15 on Twitch. Follow them on Twitter. Check out my Twitter, KineticNRG. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.